Originally scheduled for Thanksgiving night, this week's Baltimore-Pittsburgh game has been moved to Sunday as the Ravens deal with multiple positive COVID-19 tests. Even with the postponement, Baltimore will have to face the undefeated Steelers without two of its top running backs, Mark Ingram and Jay. K. Dobbins, who tested positive earlier in the week, that means the Ravens know. One rushing attack will be led by Gus Edwards and Justice Hill, as well as Lamar Jackson, of course. Per usual, the reigning MVP must play well as the focal point of Greg Roman's offense, but in this space today, I'm going to focus on the backs, specifically Edwards. This is a huge opportunity for the third-year RB who suddenly finds himself in a bright spotlight. Not only is Baltimore-Pittsburgh as fierce a rivalry as you'll find in the NFL today, but the scuffling Ravens suddenly sit outside of the playoff field. With three losses in the past four weeks, Baltimore could really use a marquee win over the current AFC King. 10-0 Pittsburgh holds the no. One seed to get back in the postseason race. There's a lot at stake, and Edwards has the goods to get it done. Although the Ravens lost their first meeting to the Steelers back in Week 8, 28-24, Baltimore ran the ball extremely well, racking up a season-high 265 rushing yards third most in a game by any team this season. And Edwards recorded season highs in carries 16 and yards 87, hitting Paydee at once. In order for the Gus bus to post new bests this Sunday, Baltimore needs to get its 6-foot-1, 238-pounder running downhill between the tackles with square shoulders early and often. Edwards' big frame and bruising rushing style have allowed him to rack up 66. 7% of his rushing yards after contact, the highest percentage of any Ravens rusher this season, according to Pro Football Focus. If the Ravens feed the big back like they should with 25 to 30 carries, Edwards' production could catapult far past his current career single game highs of 23 carries week 6, 2018, and 130 rush yards week 16, 2019. All of the pressure ISNT just on Edwards, though, Baltimore must start playing better overall football. Focusing on fundamentals and doing the little things right will allow the Ravens to shorten the game with the rushing attack and give them the best chance for success against this vaunted Steelers defense. The Ravens are going to have some decisions to make this offseason when it comes to the running back position, and this is Gus Edwards' biggest chance to solidify his place in the backfield and earn himself some well-deserved loot.